Some people don't actually know that the best way to stack inside furnaces is with four slots taken by ore, with one as to the resource that you're trying to, trying to make. So, this will cook all four pieces of ore at once, creating X amount of metal frags. However, it will spit out charcoal. Early game in Rust, charcoal isn't a necessity. So as we can see here, this is cooked one on each four slots. So then we've got five, and this will cook so much quicker, meaning that you've got much more chance of getting the metal frags that you need. It is important when you start out in Rust, when you're making your little small base to then get bigger, that you do not place furnaces underneath the ladder hatch. See that the hatch is still usable, however, when the hatch is destroyed, raiders will be able to climb on top of the furnaces and jump straight into your loot room. This can cause you many problems, this makes the hatch pretty much redundant. High external stone walls and stone gates can be very helpful for protecting a courtyard area which contains your furnaces. However, they decay at an incredibly high rate, therefore it is important that you repair them regularly. Placing large furnaces too close to your base can cause you many problems. Through this, raiders can use it to climb onto the roof and get at higher floors. Once at higher floors, raiders can use C4 to get directly into your loot room. So, the furnace base. The most cost effective way to lock in a, a, a large furnace so that you can use it privately for your own uses. So, get a square foundation as close in to one side as you can, at a height obviously that it's not going to be affected by the landscape. Triangle foundation, square, triangle. This is basically the, hexa the hexagonal shape of a normal base, however this is the most cost effective way to fit in a large furnace. You can go all the way around it and attach it perfectly like so. And this large furnace now, once you've built up, which I shall do now and I'll show you in a second, the large furnace should be locked in nice and safe. So now it's complete, this is your furnace base, um, the usual hexagonal shape which is often favoured by players in Rust, um, nice and easy, just pop in, obviously you have a door here, you can customise it how you want, this is just how I use it. Then you can get in it and turn it on and stuff from just here. Got a little tool cabinet over there just so people can't build in. Um, what you can do with this outer layer is honeycomb it, which is what I would normally do. Um, you can even, to be honest, use this as an actual base, which I have seen done, and people just build up on the sides and use the outer ring as their sort of base. What is perhaps quite ob makes it obvious is the smoke does come out the top. However, if you went up, say, two, maybe three more floors, that would mean that the smoke didn't now come out the top and no one would even know that there's a furnace in there. So I've had it when you've raided before, you've, you've used your C4 to get in, um, thinking it's an actual base, when all that there's in there is just this one furnace. So um, hopefully that helps guys. And hopefully you can uh, start putting some decent furnace bases down as opposed to some uh, that I've seen before which are a waste of resources making them too big. So anyway, if you like this video guys, if it helped you at all, if you could smash that like button, that'd be amazing. Um, if you could subscribe for more of these sort of tips and tricks videos for Rust, that'd be awesome. I've got a couple more on the way. And thank you very much for watching. Have a really good day.